This one tool can connect your N8N workflow to over 500 applications. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can set it up. If you're new here, my name is Shub and my mission is to help you become an AI and automation expert. In this video, we're going to talk about what MCP is, how to set up this particular MCP node, and we'll build out this demo workflow. Finally, we'll talk about some important considerations to remember when using MCP. So when you used to have workflows that look like this with individual tools for individual functions with this tool all you need now is one single node and that will allow you access not only to multiple functions but also to multiple tools as well so the agent is running it's calling on this mcp server tool it's monitoring reddit it's scraping those posts it's going to create linkedin posts it's going to create a twitter post and it's also going to generate a youtube script and save it to google doc so that was twitter linkedin reddit and google doc all from a single mcp server tool and that is the true power of using something like this. We're going to be using N8N for this tutorial. If you aren't familiar with N8N, it is a very popular open source automation platform. And building using N8N is incredibly simple. All you need to do is drag and drop, hook up all the different nodes together, and you have enterprise grade fully working automations ready to go. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It's basically a set of instructions that tells the AI agent what kind of tools and what kind of functions are available to it to use. So going back to this other example where we would have to tell this AI agent that you have a create project tool, you have a create task tool, and all these other tools, what the MCP server would do, the MCP server would just combine all of these tools and then you'd give your AI agent access to that one node which contains that entire blueprint. So every time your AI agent calls on the MCP server node, the MCP server will return that whole blueprint for your AI agent to pick and choose from. Now there is a lot of different ways to set up MCP servers. You can do it on N8N and create custom MCP servers. But for this example, we're gonna be taking a look at an app called Rube. Rube is an incredibly powerful MCP server that lets you connect to over 500 apps. So head over to rube.app and sign up. The free plan gives you quite a lot of credits to play around with. And even when you run out of credits, the paid options are very reasonable as well. So once you've signed in, head over to the dashboard and then head over to the marketplace. Here you'll find a list of all the different apps that are available to connect through with Rube. And if you go to the sidebar, we'll be able to see that there's a lot of different categories they have developer tools collaboration and communication ai and machine learning crms analytics productivity design and creative and that's pretty much all in all 500 different tools that you can connect through a single mcp node in order to connect to an app just go ahead and find your app click enable app and you'll have an option to either connect through their own oauth or use your own developer app to keep things simple, you can just click use your own OAuth, then choose the scopes that you want to use. If you want to keep things simple, just keep all the scopes selected. But if you already know what scopes you want to use and what you don't want to use, you can just go ahead and deselect those and then click setup. This will bring up a pop-up window. Follow the instructions to sign in. So for this example, I'm going to use LinkedIn. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for LinkedIn. Let me disconnect and I can reconnect. So I'm going to click connect and it's going to ask me to sign in. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with my credentials. You will see that we are connected. And if I click here, you'll be able to see the different tools that are available. So for LinkedIn, we have create a post, delete a post, get company info and get my info. And then the number of tools will vary depending on the app that you use. So you can go back to the marketplace and just set up your connections with all the different apps that you're looking for. And then we can come back into N8N and set up our workflow. So let me scroll down, clear this execution and just set this up again from scratch. So let's start with a chat trigger. We can drop it on the canvas, then click the plus icon and choose AI agent. Now our AI agent is going to need a brain. So I'm going to use Anthropic and I'll explain why I'm using Anthropic in just a few minutes. Our agent needs to remember what we've been saying. So it needs memory. So click the plus icon here, choose simple memory, leave this as the default for now. And for tools, and this is where the magic happens, click the plus icon and search for MCP client. So that'll bring you to this screen over here where we need to add an endpoint. So you can go back to Rube, 
click install rube and then come down here and select auth headers for n810 and more click here copy the mcp url so i'm going to copy that url come back into n810 and we can drop that url here under server transport select http streamable and for authentication set up mine i already have mine set up so you can just click here click create a new credential just give this a name so we can call it rube i'm going to call it rube2 because i already have mine come back into rube click generate token copy the result and drop that in here and then hit save now since i already have mine i'm just going to go ahead and select it and under tools to include just select all we can also select certain tools so if you click here it's going to go ahead and ping this endpoint and see what tools are available so we have create plan multi execute and if you scroll down you'll see that there's a lot of different tools available but all these tools connect to rube and not to the apps that you've connected to so in this case you will need to leave this as all but if you were to set up a custom mcp server um, on n8n or somewhere else then you would have the option to choose specific tools and i'll get to why that's important so just click out again let's make this nice and neat and then let's go up and grab the prompt from here i'm going to expand this select all under options click add an option and a system message drop that prompt in here and for the user message just leave that as json.chat input because that's where we will be sending the message from so let me expand this and show you what's going on you are a social media agent and you consistently drive thousands of impressions to your content across linkedin x and youtube now we're going to ask it to research plan and create social media content for each of these platforms for an ai automation agency your primary source of inspiration is reddit and youtube the following subreddits are popular in the ai space and i'm giving you instructions to it's going to pull popular posts from these subreddits work those into angles for linkedin posts x posts and youtube posts and come back to me with ideas so let's open up the chat and see how this works hey what are three good ideas for today hit enter and we'll see that the ai agent first so you'll see that the chat model will call the mcp client and the mcp client will then return the list of tools that it has available for the model to complete this task and it's going to do a bit of back and forth and after a bit of back and forth it's going to come back to us with results while we're waiting if you want to level up in your ai and get access to a community of ai automation builders join my private school community the ai automation incubator we also do weekly calls and every month the whole community gets together votes on a build idea and we build it live together so after all of that back and forth here are three compelling content ideas partnership model that's actually working got a source from a particular post from reddit context key insights Angle 2 incidentally is MCP, all right? And Angle 3, stop using ChatGPT like it's 2022. So I like Angle 3, even though the video is about MCP, but let's choose this one. So let's go ahead and type in Angle 3. Then it's going to draft out the posts, present them for my approval. And once I approve them, it's actually gonna go ahead and post them. Content package, here we go. Here's the LinkedIn post. Here's the Twitter post. Here is the YouTube strict script idea. And then once I give the green light, it'll do all of these things. Let's go ahead and say, let's go. All right, so we get mission accomplished. All content published successfully. LinkedIn post published. Twitter post published. YouTube script successfully created. And we can actually go ahead and verify that everything is there. There it is now here is the linkedin post now let's pop over to twitter here is the twitter post from one minute ago and here is the google doc amazing so essentially we used a single tool to accomplish all of these different tasks now for this demo i chose a social media agent but really the sky's the limit with the kinds of tools that you can integrate but what i would recommend is to keep your scope rather focused because it's tempting to enable all of the tools at once. And if you do that, it's gonna overwhelm the AI model with all the different choices that it has. So while it is useful for making your workflows much leaner and for abstracting the authentication process, when you're actually out there developing your workflows, 
make sure to only use the scopes and the tools that you actually need if you enjoyed this tutorial i'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a like and do remember to subscribe to the channel for more ai and automation content